Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Engine's Play. So this video will be something like a vlog on the journey or the process of me having the the Alex Ross Avengers Invaders um, art print that I have a very big one, the have it frame, and I'm very excited about that one. So this would be more like how I try to design a pretty do the preliminary design and showed it to the pop culture community and also the process of me in the shop how it's the how I mean the, the different options that I have and how the the framer actually explains to me the pros and the cons and eventually the price and yeah in any case I'm really excited to show you guys this one at least you might have some tips as well in having this kind of art print this size of the art print then this big have it frame and the things that you need to be careful and you need to prepare as well so i hope you'd like the video so click the thumbs up if you like it so i'm here having brunch uh, Hands. and yeah I'm hungry before I'm gonna go to the uh, framing shop I'll have my breakfast or brunch and coffee so I'll eat first here at the Talent Arts Frame Makers so I'm waiting for my turn so back here at my favorite framing shop and hopefully I get this bad boy frame here so let's see This framing journey starts with somehow like a design that I did um, which is like having it in Photoshop I tried different I, I, I tried a different like borders the the cardboard borders I don't know what they're called I tried that one uh, the different um, let's say I, I didn't have any different because I like the black one I always like black frames and with the different colors I tried it in Photoshop how the like I I think I have somehow like two, four, six, eight. Um, I think around more than ten options. Basically, uh, there are quite many. Uh, I think sixteen. And for me, one that stands out are actually. Uh, by the way, before I go there, I only wanted the the ones with like a simple trim, and I, I just want that one. Uh, I don't want every complicated stuff. But I do have one that has a very nice trims uh, and one of my favorites of these options was actually the the gray and the light red that one and also the gray with the how is it the dark red and also the blue with the dark um, red that one it's, it's very subtle and I actually also like the the red and white uh, meaning the borders were the border is white and uh, the trim is red. I also love that one. There's also this different tone of blue and a lighter red. So these were my favorites. I also do love the the blue and the white and even the gray. The dark blue and the white and the light blue and the white. That is also nice but I if I have to pick my best one, I guess those were the best one in terms of frame design. Do 
you want to have any glazing like acrylic, glass, anti-UV kind of stuff or just want to keep it lightweight and simple? For me, I prefer lightweight and simple but I want to use the the museum glass. Oh, museum glass will not be lightweight. Oh, <laughs> really? Yes. It's, that, it's heavy. I it's going to be heavy. I wonder if it, it can still hang <laughs> Okay, uh, if you're using museum glass, you can still hang, but you gotta drill. You gotta drill at least one or two ah, points right. on the wall to hang. Because let's say that this is framed with museum glass, right? the estimated weight mm -hmm. could be approximately maybe about 10 kilos. Oh, maybe. really? That's quite heavy. It's quite heavy. <laughs> because of the glass. Ah. Yeah, we, we have regular options like acrylic, you know, and all that. But is there like a, uh, a museum like acrylic? There is very pricey. It's called Optium, Optium ah. Museum Acrylic. Expensive part. What do you mean the glazing? Maybe it's the museum. The ah, museum the museum. Ah, the museum. Ah, okay. Like how much would it reach? I can't say exactly for sure now, but I estimate uh, if you're using the museum glass, right? Probably nearly, nearly up to a thousand bucks. Mm -hmm. so if you're using music and creating, uh, then it's beyond that. Mm -hmm. it's I'm also sure that it's kind of Captain America. <laughs> Color. Oh, where is that? That here this is the this is the extra. There's the black one. Yeah, yeah. The one that there is like a trim uh, like yeah. in between. Still having a jet and, and still this? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Why not? Okay, I, don't, I don't have the same blue, but, mm -hmm. but I'm just gonna show you. Yeah, maybe this this blue one a lot darker. Mm. No. Can't fit this over oh, really? piece. <laughs> Too big. No. Is there what are what other red do you have? Huh? Maybe I maybe I tried the black and red, but the different kind of red. Huh? What kind of red? Okay. For the red, uh, the the biggest sheet uh, that can fit this size uh, is this red. Is that one? Is this one? <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Uh huh. That's, okay, it's, it's not so bad, is it? Can you make it closer? A bit thin. Yeah. I don't want to have it so about there. Big, uh, and then. Yeah. Something like that, huh? Yeah, if you want it a bit slightly smaller, I can go under this much. So you see? Mm hmm. That's how it look like. Yeah, mm -hmm. it looks kind of good, huh? No. Do you, how about the the frame? I remember you have the the black with like a nice silver trim. Yeah, that one. Huh? Actually, I have that frame also before. I wonder if it looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. No problem. It looks good, right? Yeah, that's good. Can I go with this? It so yeah, I'm quite excited for this one. This is my little project end of the year. <laughs> so I kind of already found my frame. Uh, it's this black red one. Um, keep it simple. I wanted the 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 frame doesn't somehow um, take the stage between the the fr the print itself. So there you go. Magnum just told me that it would be very heavy. <laughs> I didn't expect that it would reach almost 10 kg or even more than 5 kg, but let's see. <laughs> I think I might have a problem hanging it to the wall. <laughs> So there you go, uh, 
I, I'm not sure if it's an epic fail. I really thought I would only be thinking just about the, I would say, the art print. Uh, I mean, the frame uh, and the price. But there's really like some other underlying things that I have to consider uh, according to Magnum with this how big it is. I have to consider the wall where I put it because it's, it has a 10 kg weight. I, I was blown away. I was like, what 10 kg? I didn't expect that one. I was I was expecting like around 5 kg to 7 kg or something. But that one, and then he said you, it's becoming more fragile and more difficult to carry. That's another stuff. And he said if I have to carry it to move it around, I have, might need like a very big like box or something. He can't provide me the service to do that. But I was like, I'm surprised, and I'm really scared. Most like uh, in here, I'm, I'm in a higher floor. My apartment is in higher floor, and I'm really scared that the wind might fall it fall off. Uh, so I was like, why? Well, if that happens, it, the, if it's glass, it might scratch the 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 print itself. So I'm I'm quite scared about that one. So yeah, I ended up not getting the museum glass. Um, anyway, I'm gonna put this in a darker hallway, which is there's not much reflection. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I, I really weighed in. Uh, I I was okay with the price. I think the price was for the museum glass is a like a thousand and the regular one is only like around 500 but i was willing to pay that as long as it looks very good the problem was this other stuff i'm and I'm, I'm not prepared with those other stuff and i have to weigh it and i i would say okay for now maybe i just have the regular um glass or acrylic so yeah i ended up with that one i hope it will arrive before christmas uh, and yeah because i really want to see it on christmas day uh, i also want to show you guys a video before christmas showcasing the print itself how it finally looks um so far when i have it there lined up it looks good but th that's just a small part normally i'm always like surprised how good it looks after when it's already framed so really excited about that one so stay tuned here in engine's place to have that final reveal of my Christmas gift um, for myself, which is the Alex Ross Avengers Invaders.